Hi, I'm talking today about decision making because I, I just think it, it comes up so much all the time. How do we guide ourselves to be able to make the right decision when every which way just feels so hard and so difficult, maybe so weighted? It might also be that it's a decision that hugely impacts the, the potential of your path unfolding. So say for example, you're trying to decide, do we have our IVF this side of Christmas or do we wait and do we do it in January? Do we have one embryo back? Do we have two embryos back? But also anything in life that matters to us, like changing a job, moving, any of those things, we're gonna come up against this part of us that would like a settled, calm, absolute yes from inside and we just don't get it. So what I say to my clients is, when you can't really get to a just right because it's all just a bit too much, try and see it from the perspective of what would be the least wrong decision. It brings a completely different energy to a situation. Which way forward feels like the least wrong? And I'll give you two examples of where I used this last week. One was a lady who was desperately worried about her transfer coming up in a few days and was she ready was she in the right headspace is it even the right time i don't want to waste an embryo all of that stuff coming up and i obviously went through with her all the reasons why she was thinking that and what she'd been doing and whether it was enough and then i said to her okay don't look for what feels like a right decision look for what feels like the least wrong we're going to have two options here you are either going to have a least wrong feeling that you turn up and you have that embryo transferred and you give it that opportunity or you're going to phone up and cancel and say I don't want to have this embryo transfer right now and before it even finished she went oh, I, I know that I need to have it done I just need to have that embryo transferred and then there was this little bit of calm where it's like some part of her realized oh I was freaking out I, I I needed that reassurance that it's okay for me to be doing this and I've done enough. So she just, in that moment for her, she needed that confirmation. The example of, do we do our IVF before Christmas or after? That was a real, okay, which one would be least wrong? Which factors are you thinking about? And it turned out that when we looked at it from a least wrong perspective, it made all the sense in the world for them to do it after Christmas. The thing that was getting in the way was a part of her that was panicking that she's running out of time and can she afford to wait that long? And actually when she gave herself permission because we're really just talking a matter of a few weeks and a few weeks whereby she can even put more things in to support her body if she wants to, she realised that, okay, it doesn't feel like the most right thing in the world to wait, but it does feel like the least wrong. So that can be a really useful tool to use. The other thing I say is, don't be afraid to try decisions on for size. I don't know why we all do it. It's this weird thing. I don't know where we learn it, but as soon as you start talking as if you might do something or talking about what it would be like to do that, it's as though we freak out because we're making a commitment when actually we're not. We're just exploring the options. And as soon as we start to go down that track, it's as though we go, oh no, but, but, but what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And, and, and then we end up in this weird back and forth. And I will caveat it to say, that back and forth thing is exactly where you need to be in order to make the right decision. You can't get to the right decision be before you do the back and forth weird, are we doing the right thing? But what about this? And what about this? That umming and ahhing is part of proper good decision making. So don't worry about that, it's part of the step. You're not procrastinating, you're not delaying things, you're not making it harder, but do give yourself permission that you could try out an idea for size. So say for example, you are thinking about your job and I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to think about going self-employed and you're wondering, shall I do it now or shall I do it in six months time? So instead of going down that rabbit hole of the pros and cons, the pros and cons, think I'm going to pretend to myself that I've made the decision that I am going to hand in my notice and I'm going to start going freelance. 
sit with that decision for a few hours or a few days and see how it makes you feel. See what thoughts come up, see what feelings come up and work with those feelings, work with those thoughts and then swap over and do another decision. I actually use this tactic with fertility as well because even with really big things like, gosh, do we go for embryo adoption or do we look at actual adoption? Do we have another go or do we walk away? Try the decision on for size. Say to yourselves, right, we're gonna go with scenario A and we're both gonna assume we've made that decision and go away and sit with it and be with it and live with it for a few hours or a few days or whatever and we're going to come back and talk about how that made made you feel because it will unearth that I'm, I'm not okay with walking away or it will bring about a gosh I felt this weird relief and then I started to explore that and then I started to get other ideas and and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on the third aspect of this is teasing out what do I actually want? And you can do this by, when you're in a real funk of, oh, I don't know, do we do this, do we do that, do we do that? Uh, you can come back to this grounding point of, well, what do I not want? So if this, for example, is, is about, do I quit my job and go freelance? Um, or, I don't know, it, it doesn't really matter, but why, why are you thinking of doing that? What is it that's causing you to not want to stay as you are? I don't, I don't want to work these hours anymore. I don't like my boss my, and my job leaves me dissatisfied and I'm unfulfilled and I want more money or I want more work-life balance. When you allow the things that you don't want to come up, you can work out what it is that you do want. I hate my boss means Maybe I want a new boss, or maybe I want to work for a different company, or maybe I want to go and work for myself. If you're, I'm sick of not earning enough money, I want a job that pays me more money. And as you start to work out your yeses, it's easier to get a bit of space around it and start to create the courage that you need in order to allow the next step to come up as a potential option for you so that you can decide, am I actually going to do that or not? But yeah, just remember as well, there's... There's never really a wrong way. There's always lots of ways. Many of those will lead you where you need and want to go. And I once read, there's no such thing as a wrong path, only a different experience. I believe that was Dr. Lisa Rankin. I must have read that in one of her books. And I think it's really true. It's so helpful for us to remember we're not here just screwing ourselves over and potentially gambling away and, and taking a risk we will always be leading ourselves somewhere and we have to trust that there's enough of a yes coming through that said you need to go that way for a particular reason and trusting that and knowing that we always have this part of us that will scoop us up and guide us any time that we need it and just remember that sometimes in life in fact often we don't get a big yes or sometimes we do but then it's accompanied by loads of freaking out and doubt and just bring all that along with you and just go ahead anyway. Sometimes we will make a decision that means we get to a place where we can review things. So I had a couple that knew that their last embryo transfer was, there wasn't going to be much chance of it working, but they knew they needed to have that embryo transferred in order to find peace because they didn't want it hanging over them that the embryo was still there, maybe it could have worked, all those things. Um, or they couldn't close that chapter on using her eggs and doing it that way until they'd had that last embryo transferred. And the, the consultant kept saying, but there's only this much chance and da da da. And as if it was going to impact their decision and their decision was, it's not about those odds actually, it's about what I can get from going through that gateway. Because if I go through the gateway of having this treatment, I get to the place I need to go next. Because either that embryo is gonna take and I'm gonna have my baby that way, or 
I'm going to, because I've done that, I'm going to be able to grieve and take my peace and find my way to accepting that I'm going to go a different way. And I can't do that peacefully if I haven't taken this decision and gone through that action. And the doctors just couldn't understand it, but she knew. She knew that was how she was going to handle it to allow herself to get to her next place. Because sometimes we have to know, take this choice, go forward with this, because either it's gonna get you exactly where you want to be, exactly where you think you're gonna to get to, or it's gonna get you to a, a different choice point, a different way, and it's going to work out in a way that you hadn't envisaged, or it's going to not work out in that moment yet it's going to give you another way it's going to give you another suggestion and another inspiration will come in so never be scared to take action if you are feeling like there's trepidation often the trepidation is just the fear and you've got to take it along for the ride and do it anyway and in, in my personal experience when you feel the most fear yet are compelled to do that thing at the same time this is what it feels like to have a breakthrough. So do consider that in mind that you don't need to wait for a comfortable, safe, everything is okay feeling. You can go ahead anyway and you're still safe. So as always, this is sent with loads of love. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.